Hi, I'm Sarah, and you're watching Can Sarah DIY It. Today, I am participating in a mystery swap, no, mystery box swap challenge. And the gist of it is, there is a group of DIYers here on YouTube, and we each sent each other a box with about $20 worth of stuff, three must-use items, and... I sent my box to Brenda over at Moner's Market and I got my box from Brenda from um, Rustic and Lace DIY. I'm going to make sure that's the name, <laughs> but I'll definitely um, link both ladies in my description box and I will also link the playlist. I think her name is Rustic and Lace. If not, I'll like dub myself in saying like bloop, 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 bloop. Okay. So right now I'm going to open my box, which is very exciting because I get to see what Miss Brenda Jesner sent me and see what I have to work with. Now I'm allowed to use my own materials uh, as well and all the other stuff that she sent me in the box but the three items that um, are marked as like must use those are the items I have to DIY with and I can make as many or as few items as I want I believe and I don't think there's like any theme or anything so I guess right now you're gonna get to watch me open my box if you want to skip through this I will put a timestamp for where my DIYs begin but I wouldn't skip this if I were you because this is usually the funniest part. <laughs> so I did, I like covered up our addresses so that you guys can't come and stalk me, which I mean, I leave, I like kind of live a boring life. You wouldn't have that much to stalk. Oh my gosh. Okay. These are Dollar Tree scissors. They're not that sharp. No offense, Dollar Tree. I love you, but... <sighs> Oh my goodness, she wrapped everything so pretty. Um, in the chat, like before I got my package, Brenda, multiple times, my Brenda, Brenda from Rustic Lace DIY. I have to look up the name of her channel before I carry on because I, I don't want to say it wrong every time. Actually, here's her card, so the card to, to me. With like candies and stuff, she's trying to make up for something evil that she did. Anyway, in the chat, she kept saying, you're going to hate me, stuff like that. And so I'm like really nervous. <laughs> oh, but she knows I love butterflies. Okay. <laughs> this again, Sarah, I hope you don't hate me after this. I gave you a bag of, bag of goodies to sweeten the must use items. I can't wait to see how you use these items. I know you will do a great job. Love Brenda. Brenda. Don't make me get mad. <laughs> okay, but she did send me some chocolates, so. Okay, must use item number one. This is I must use item number two. I don't know what that is. Must use item number three. Okay, I'm going to save those for last, and I'm going to show you all the other goodies that she sent me. Because, you know, $20 can get a lot when you're hunting for a bargain. Okay, this is, these are like, oh, the garden flags. And this is a really cute one, like a little chicken one. All right, I'm going to have to think. Oh, ah, this is reception flag things. I actually have been wanting one of these. So this is fun. Okay, I can definitely use that. These little like stickers that are like hinges. A couple of family and home, but they're like thick like chonky. This is beautiful. Welcome. That's really pretty. All right, I have blue tape stuck to me. Oh, this is like the Pepsi or like the Coke bottle top. I, I have like ideas for all this. And this is really pretty. I feel like I could pair a bunch of this stuff together. <gasps> oh my goodness, I've been wanting one of these. The window thing? I mean, I immediately am going to take this off and do something else with this, but I love this. Oh, she must have spent more than $20 on me. I think she's trying to make up for the horrible. This is cute. Okay. 
wall decals. I love this type of stuff. There's two sides. This is beautiful. Ooh, these dice. I like these dice. Stop it. She sent me a whole calendar. Oh, look at all the options of the pages that I can use. Okay, I have so many things that I can play with. Okay, I'm going to load this stuff back up in here, and then I'm going to open my secret items and see what she sent me that she's so scared that I'm going to be mad about. Brenda, what did you do? What did you do to me that I should be so mad about? Hmm? What did you do, my friend? Snippity snip. Look at how cute the wrapping is, though, she did. I love a coordinated wrap job. Must use item number one. Oh my goodness. Oh, this isn't bad. I'm not mad. Brenda, you're an angel. I love this. This is cute. I like a wood round. Oh, this is number three. Must use item number two. a bikini top. <laughs> so they're not coconuts, they're shells. And honestly, I feel like I could do something with these, not as a bra, but like as shells. Okay, must use item number... Three. I wonder if the shells were the item that she thought I was going to be the most upset about because I'm not even that upset about those. A whoopee cushion. A whoopee cushion? <laughs> to do with a whoopee cushion. This is legitimately a whoopee cushion. See the kid's face in here? I'm having the same, like... Okay, so let's just review. It went from, oh, thanks, Brenda, to, oh, okay, to, what are you thinking? Yes, now I know why she was apologizing. I mean, she gave me such good stuff in the box, though, so I have tons of stuff to work with. The only issue is what am, what does one do with a whoopee cushion? I mean, just sit on it, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I feel like I'm going to have so many heart noises in the soundtrack of this video. And I'm just going to, I don't know, if you're offended by that type of stuff, I'm just going to apologize right away. You might want to turn this video off. It's going to be aggressive. Okay. Well, I'm going to need to think about this for a minute and get some preparation done. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. All right. So that sucker closed. <laughs> Pardon me. So my first, my first like order of business was to fill holes. So the two items that I wanted to make sure that I filled the holes in with stucco were the seashell bra <laughs> and then the home sign. And um, so I got those filled. I. I set the shells to the side and I started working on removing the home from the wood round. Once I got the home off, you know, sometimes you can just get it off with like a little tool like that I used, 
but um, if you can't, just use the heat gun. It releases the glue, like it warms up the glue and you can just peel it right up. I mean, it came up so easy for me. So um, I might just use my heat gun next time because then I could probably use that, that word again. Um, and I gave it a couple of coats of the Sheepskin by Folk Art um, Home Decor Chalk Paint. And um, I, I flipped it over and I took the dice that um, Brenda had set, sent me um, and made it into a riser. I ended up changing my mind and removing them only because um, when I decided to use the home, you know, the word, um, it just was so much better as like a wall, like a leaner or like something that you hang on the wall. So I ripped those off and oh my goodness, like chunks of the back of the piece came off with it. So E6000 glue is pretty strong. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I glued the two home pieces together to make it even thicker because I was like, I really like how far this sticks out. And of course I used the wall decal that Brenda sent me and I cut it into a circle so that it would fit on the piece. The um, sheepskin paint that I painted on the wood brown was just so that it would have a nice background for the wall decal. And then of course I um, painted the wall decal the same, I'm sorry, painted the um, word home with the same sheepskin and then um, I glued that right onto the decal and that piece was finished. I was like, should I add some florals? Should I add a bow? But I thought, you know what? This is just beautiful the way it is. It doesn't need anything more. So then we go back to the shelves. Now that the stucco had dried and the holes were filled, I brought it out to my garage and I gave the insides of the shelves, like the hollowed out part, a couple of coats of gold metallic spray paint by Krylon. And um, that stuff has like great coverage and it gave it such like a shiny, yummy um, coat. And then I brought them back up to my craft room and I took my sheepskin and then my um, Imperial uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the Imperial, no, not the Imperial, what did I use? I used the coral, the coral paint, and I sort of ombre um, or like gradient the sheepskin into the coral on the back side of the shells, because I wanted it to look like a real shell, but then gold in the middle. And so what I'm making those into is soap dishes, because I'm doing a mermaid bathroom for my daughter's uh, bathroom. And that makeover is coming out really soon in July. So keep your eyes peeled for that. So those soap dishes turned out so cute. I am absolutely going to use them in her bathroom. And I really love them. And I hope that you think that they turned out cute too. They, that was a really easy one. Like as soon as I saw them, I knew exactly what I was going to do with them. Uh, and I knew what I was going to use them for because I needed soap dishes for her bathroom. Um, the next thing, of course, was the whoopee cushion. I had no idea what to do with it, honestly. I had no idea what to do with it. And I was thinking, okay, well, it's the shape of a balloon. What would I do if it was a balloon? And I thought, oh, I could make, I could make this look like a hot air balloon. Um, I started trying to paint with some chalk paint. It was not having it on this plastic of the whoopee cushion. Oh, I also like blew it up to capacity and then I glued it shut because the air just wants to come out of that thing because it's a whoopee cushion. <sighs> the green paint did not want to stick to it. So um, I kind of wiped it back. It didn't want to dry. And I took it out to the garage and gave it a couple coats of gold spray paint on both sides. Um, I came back in and then on my silhouette, I cut out this little elephant and um, I cut out like a little swoop de doo that I just had in my library. And out of this like nice light dusty pink, 
and I put the swoop de doo on the bucket and I put the elephant on the whoopee cushion and I painted some popsicle sticks white and I, I glued those in my little white bucket. I did take the handle off the bucket because you know, I didn't need that. And, um, and then I put the <laughs> whoopee cushion on top of those sticks and you have a nice little centerpiece for the baby shower for like tables at the baby shower. I think it turned out really cute. I mean, for what it is, are you kidding me? All right. Make sure that you watch the rest of the playlist. These ladies are so talented and I gotta tell you that if any of them got boxes like I did, this is gonna be the funniest playlist. You guys are gonna have a blast watching it. Um, and there are so many talented makers and creators on this list. So definitely watch the rest of the playlist. Comment, like, subscribe, jazz, all that jazz, yada, yada, yada. I'm getting a little sleepy and a little slap happy, so don't mind me. But um, yeah, I was gonna do a bunch more crafts, but you know what, this video is long enough. I've got awesome stuff in this box from Brenda that I'm gonna have to make another video and give her a little credit because she got me so much more stuff I could do more crafts with, but it really took me a while to figure out what I was gonna do with these other items. Well, we are into the wee hours and this mom is tired or as alicia Keys says this mom is so tired <laughs> i love that um yeah many said that i could not i could not beat this challenge many doubted and of course, by many, I'm saying the voices in my head. But I succeeded. Nay, I exceeded expectations. I'm very happy with what I came up with. <laughs> Brenda is tricky. And I would like to formally request that I get to send Brenda the next <sighs> mystery box. Because payback. What is the saying? Payback hurts real bad and it's going to make you regret sending me a whoopee cushion. <laughs> I believe that's the quote. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I honestly did have a blast and I love these mystery challenges. It always makes me reach outside my comfort zone, which you know I love to do. If you like what you're seeing and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my crew. And um, yeah, 